you the birds are driving happy friday y'all look at this somebody look at this why do i have on um, a whole sweatsuit it's 66 degrees outside okay the leaves falling on the floor outdoors i'm with it it's fall time baby fall time i think officially starts next weekend but who cares i'm in the fall spirit and get what we finna do today get what we finna do we finna make some runs to go get some fall decor to go on the front porch <laughs> hello anyway y'all i'm feeling great feeling good i'm glad we made it weekend okay where's my stuff i'm gonna put y'all on my tripod come on arm be hurting i need to talk to y'all real quick okay let me talk to y'all real quick please hold pdo pdo oh guess what else is going on today y'all we can't even put the lashes done y'all getting the lashes done baby anyways this one use this tripod why is it not up high enough Hold on, y'all. Let me get myself together. Get myself a bath. Go to church. Start listening. Get on the right path. There we go. Steady on you. Steady on it. Get it in there. Get going. You live fake. You die fake. And it's just the way it goes. I'm a gangster, y'all. Anyway, y'all. So, first of all, I just need to tell y'all that I am so appreciative of y'all sending me all these kind words. A lot of y'all reached out to me on Instagram who weren't even initially following me on Instagram to just give me words of encouragement and I really truly appreciate that. I feel much better. I've been trying to like clear my head, get myself more motivated. My husband slash kids got me an iPad for um, Mother's Day earlier this year and the whole point was for me to be able to do like digital planning and stuff like that. But y'all know I'm a notebooks person. I like to write. Maybe you don't know that. I always say y'all know like y'all know, you know. Anyways, <laughs> so that's what I spent yesterday doing so i have like janae's planner right here and whoop, no you didn't oh my gosh i'm still learning it but like i got in like a better mood like yesterday i did like some self-care and i'm trying to like focus more on self-care so anyways the whole point of me telling y'all that was i feel better we about to fix up some coffee y'all um, I really want to go to the Nespresso store, but I actually hate going in Lenox Mall for several reasons. I'm pretty sure y'all know. Like, if you live in Atlanta, you don't know, watch the news. You know why your girl don't like going to Lenox, okay? And then it's just so crowded. It's like a, a goddamn fashion show in a mug. Like, I just want to shop in peace. I guess I just done got that old to where I don't feel like being around crowds and stuff. I like to go to the mall early in the morning so I can shop in peace. I want to be able to look. I don't want nobody trying to holler at me. I don't want nobody looking like they want to catch me outside when my guard is down, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I really want to go to the Nespresso store. So maybe I can go like during the week next week um, instead of like ordering the stuff online, but whatever. Where the baby come? Yeah. Um, me and my husband did date night last weekend where the kids um, were our servers. And it was the cutest thing ever. We literally just turned our lights on over there on the deck and had them bring us like a charcuterie board. Did I already tell y'all this? I can't remember. Um, they brought us a charcuterie board out. They made the charcuterie board themselves. I did tell y'all I was making a charcuterie board. So we did that. They poured our wine for us. I don't know if some of y'all think that's inappropriate, but not your business. There's your mom. Um, girl, that was that was porn. They were heavy handed, so we drank a whole bottle. Um, but it was really nice. I encourage you. You got kids? You have a significant other? Make your kids involve your kids in your date night. So, like, if you have to do a date night at home and you don't have a babysitter. So you have to do a date night at home, involve your kids. So your kids don't feel like, you know, it's like a two for one. You're able to spend time with their spouse, a long time with their spouse, but also spend time with your kids because you've involved them in it. I propped y'all up on the tripod because I wanted y'all to see. So all you do is cut up your sausages, right? Just like that. Then we're gonna get our pot. It's always gonna be caraway over here, baby. Wall wax. 
And then last time I only did four eggs. This time, what did I do? This time I'm gonna do six eggs. Clearly somebody didn't go to the grocery store. I feel like I've been grocery shopping all the time. I am tired of grocery shopping. Actually, y'all, I'm gonna make my um, potatoes first. So let me let me cut these up. I cannot wait for um, like the holidays. I'm putting some oil in here for my potatoes. I can't wait for the holidays so I can start um, like baking and stuff. Y'all would learn a lot from my cooking show if I had one. Do I cut them up like around the same size? Y'all hear that? All right, y'all. We lost four of our potatoes to the floor. May they rest in peace. So I normally fry them in the olive oil for a little bit so that they could get crispy. And then I add water and put the lid on them so that they can get soft. Cause I know that last log wasn't that long. Get you some pepper going. All right, I need to move y'all. A little momento. What are you yelling at, babe? Some salt. Don't be talking about that was too much. I'm gonna do some basil. Kind of season them like they're roasted potatoes, you know? I don't like messing up a lot of dishes when I cook, so I'm making these potatoes first, and then I'll make the eggs and stuff afterwards. So I'm gonna let these do they thug sizzle for a minute. Let them get brown, add my water, let the water cook down, and then I come back to y'all with the little sausage stuff. Commercial break. So this is what the potatoes look like after some of the water is cooked down. Oh, you can't tell me that they don't look good. Sorry if I hate that noise. I'm trying to adjust the tripod so y'all can actually see the goddamn potatoes. Tell me they don't look good. Beanie. Hey, Beanie. Hey, baby. You look like you in jail. Are you in jail? Oh, you want to mama? I try to cook. I'm trying to cook, baby. I cooked that breakfast for that girl. Look at them bonzo, top of the head. You had your bath? Give me Oma. Look at the face. Look at the face you mad. Give me Oma. Give me Oma, baby. ponytails at the top of my head. I threw these in her hair. First of all, I didn't even finish it. <laughs> but I put them in there because what did you get in your hair? Because her hair gets is so thick and it gets so tangled. Can I have Oma? See, it just wants me to latch. You just want me to latch? I want to spend time with that gill, baby. Mm -hmm. Alright, y'all. So we have the potatoes in the bowl. Obviously you see, the potatoes are your base. So this is the bottom, or you can put it beside. We got our empty pan. I'm holding beans, so excuse me if I, you know. We're gonna add our meat. Now, this should create its own, uh, like oil, so I didn't add any oil to the pan. having to do this with my hands now because Bean wanted to try and take my tripod. Really? We can't have nothing for you. Trying to get these folks a cooking show. Jesus Christ. Normally I use, y'all know I normally eat my little good cheese. But for this I like to use the shredded cheese. 
All right, so this is what they look like. They look so yummy. I don't know what's wrong with the um, camera settings, but we're just gonna roll with it. And then I made some toast for H. Voila, there's your breakfast. Mm, it's about to hit. What up? Headed to my last appointment. I'm about to be 11 minutes early. I am so proud of myself. So how about the um, husband and dropped a little bomb on me before I left the house. I thought I was going to go get my lashes done, be done with work. I'm going to go to the mall, hit up H&M, see what they got. And then I was going to go to Hobby Lobby. It was a different look. He's talking about something. I got an appointment to get my hair cut. At 5.15. What? You know how long it's going to take my lashes. I ain't going to be done until about 3. I don't want to have to rush home. I wanted some time. But I guess I'm gonna have to come home. And what I'm not gonna do is drag them kids with me to the stuff. Not happening. So I might have to go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. And I also need to go and get the foundation. I could order that online. Whatever. But um, what do y'all have recommended? Ashwagandha, whatever it is. You're not the first person I heard say that. Or maybe you've recommended it before. But I'm gonna have to try that for my migraines because I can kind of feel one that's trying to come on because I'm feeling nauseous like you know but I also think that my arm may be low so I took me an arm pill before I left left home in other news I canceled my therapy session for today and also told my therapist I want to go to monthly meetings or sessions as opposed to every two weeks I was going every week at one point and then I made that every two weeks is it not mentally and emotionally draining to go to therapy like I dread the days I have to go to therapy. I don't know if I need to switch the days because right now I have therapy every other week on Fridays. And it's like by the end of the week. I don't really feel like talking to you at the end of the day on a Friday. I'm ready to turn up. Not turn down and get emotional. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. I just finished my lashes. I look better. I feel better. But we did shorter. We did nines, tens, and elevens, I think. And then I did which I normally do 11s, 12s, and 13s. And then I did the cat eye instead of um, the one where they're like longer in the center. From a distance, I like it up close, not so much. I don't like this, the end of it as much. Maybe I just need to, I don't know. <laughs> y'all, I meant to tell y'all this um, when we were in the car earlier. Something bit me in my back. My, oh my, I still haven't changed my battery. Focus! Okay, so when I went to get my uh, lashes done, the girl was like, um, my lash tech was like, ooh, you smell good, Santo 33? I was like, it's funny that you should say that. It's actually Dosa Ye, and she told me, I said, you own the perfume? And she was like, no, um, I actually make candles I'm a, uh, for private labels. And Santo 33 is one that I regularly mix, so she recognized the fragrance. This is confirmation that to somebody else, it smells like Santo 33. That's all I want to tell y'all. It's nighttime, about six o'clock, maybe seven. It's actually seven something. We're about to have a movie night. Look at my back. Like I was saying, we're about to have a movie night with kids. I think we're gonna watch Doctor Strange or something like that. Anyways, I'm gonna make myself some tea because you girl got bubble guts and I don't know why. I don't know if I got a stomach virus or the the coffee that I had earlier. Did I tell y'all that my nails, more of my nails broke off? We got a nail appointment tomorrow. Anyways, I'm gonna see y'all in the morning. Good night.
need to get my nails done. Um, so I'm gonna have to go to Bucket. But y'all wanna know what my treat is, like my secret is after I get my nails done. There is a Chick-fil-A down the street um, on Northside Drive and they do their um, fries and chicken well done like if you request it my my neighborhood chick-fil-a's have been so disgusting like chick-fil-a is not what it used to be but when you can get it well done it, it actually pulls up so i don't know it's like a, i call it a treat because i get to eat it in my car in peace no kids i don't have to buy a, a a meal for everybody in my family it's just me so i'm excited about that i might even get myself a cookie maybe a milkshake that's gonna mess my stomach up but i might we'll, we'll just see anyways the girl beside me is like all in my car. I need her to move up some because she watching me talk to y'all. Let me just put my camera down a little bit. So anyways, we also are supposed to go to Home Depot today because we want to get a whole bunch of flowers so that we can do, we want curb appeal. When me and my husband, we were coming back from, so, oh, we had went and got lunch. We went and got kava and there's this neighborhood, absolutely gorgeous. I'm talking about every single ha house has really nice curb appeal. So that kind of like motivated us to be like, okay, let's go and, and get our, our, the exterior of our house together. So we want to do that. I don't know if I'm planting that thing because I'm going to get my nails done. So we'll just see. But I don't know how to just sit back and watch. I always feel like I got to be involved. But anyways, um, so we're going to do that. And then maybe we can start trying to tackle some of the projects on the inside of our house. Because me and my husband were kind of like chit chatting or whatever and basically you know talking about how we needed to go room by room and just start to finalize it because if y'all been around for a while or if you've seen those videos y'all know that we want to do like a little backyard oasis we need to get our basement finished so honestly it's it's hard to even begin to take on a major project when you know you still need to do some other things in the house so we kind of just need to sit down and prioritize we got our nails done i want shorter almond and I got my treat. Time to head to the house. Y'all look at my eyes. I don't know if they get worse the longer they're exposed to sunlight, but this is pretty bad. Jesus, mommy, your eye was People a were looking at me <laughs> like, sis, blink twice if you need help. Anyways, so I got some good stuff. Well, I don't know. I got some stuff, so I'm gonna show it to y'all. So I went to Hobby Lobby first, like I told y'all. And the Hobby Lobby, my location, had more. So they restocked these. So this is the one that's right here in the vase at the breakfast nook area. I'm gonna, I don't like that they get stuck though. So this one is gonna go in here, and then these two are gonna go in the dining room. I'm not gonna lie, this color in the dining room really don't look that good because um, it's cream and stuff. I mean, like, I have to show y'all. I wonder what my camera, girl, I already feel like my camera about to give out on me. So, next, I'm paying attention to my dirty table. <laughs> look what I found. Y'all, this is the pillows that I have in my loft area. So I got this to go on my couch. So we're gonna see what this looks like in a minute. But I got this, and then also this Sherpa kind of like one, but it's softer texture than that. Look at that. Ah, so cute. We're gonna see what this looks like. I'm gonna put this over here. I had also seen this um, basket at Target. All of this, that the two pillows came from. Oops. The two pillows came from Target. There also was a basket that I thought would be really cute in there. Anyways, I also found me a mat. Person <clears throat> hand is on sale for $14.99, regular $19.99. But it's this mat. This is gonna go. It doesn't say that it's outdoor, but I'm using it anyways. So it's for my front door as the bottom. Um, and I feel like this is gonna go really good with that. Um, let me just show y'all real quick. Hold on. I lied, I don't feel like doing all that. I'll take it in there and show y'all. But y'all know the wreath that I got to go on my door is brown with, I guess, cream or tan in it. So I thought this would be cute. And then layer this with the Come In and Cozy Up mat. 
Then I also got from Target, I went ahead and got my paint spray so I can paint, uh, spray paint, not paint spray, spray paint. This is gold so I can spray Kenzie's um, curtain rod. The other day I got from Target, I haven't showed y'all the updates to Kenzie. Look girl, you better not open my chips. I haven't showed y'all the updates to Kenzie's room yet because honestly I want to try to get their rooms done as much as I can before I start showing anymore just because I don't really know what direction I'm going with it so that's that but anyways these rooms sell these are regular $30 and they sell for nine so I got this little cushion thing to sit in her you know she has that chair in her room so I thought this would be cute her colors now are tan coral and blush pink I don't think I've told y'all that yet so I got that and then I also got um two panels so they have the coral and then the blush pink at the bottom so i got two of these so we'll do the outside this and then the sheer on the inside of it so that's that this also matches what i just showed y'all then i got home essentials from home, from home goods i purchased these for Bean. Yeah. So she's on the what's name now. I found this. Let me see that bench real quick, Kenzie. So I can show them. I'm gonna get right back to you, Bean. So y'all know in Bean's area, I'm putting acrylic shells at the, in one area. I got this little bench thing. It was on clearance for fifty five dollars. Here, baby. Sit down. So we're gonna do that bench right there against the wall and then the two acrylic shelves above it. We're gonna pray over it. It ain't gonna ever fall on her head. So it's her little reading area. Also got this little stool was on clearance for $15. So this side of it is gray. I might end up like painting this side pink. I don't know yet, but either way it would match. So this is gonna sit right next to it. And then I thought these would be cute, like just sitting on top of it next to her little reading nook area or I can do like some cute little books just sitting right there with these on top of it. We'll see. But I just thought that was cute. Get your behind down. Um something else I got from Home Goods. I don't remember what this is. Oh this is just a little um pink container. Not, not home goods. This is Hobby Lobby. All of their table decor stuff is 50% off so this is like seven dollars. So I think I'm going to use this in Maddie's room with... Do not stand up. You sitting down. This is also considered table decor. So I thought this would be cute. Like on the... Um, her little... What do you call it? Shelf thing. Like sitting up there. Or I could use this in Kenzie's room. But 9 times out of 10 is going to be in Maddie's room. So I thought this was cute. That's what I got from Hobby Lobby. And then this right here came from Home Goods. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but this is really these things like are really cute, um, layered with books. So we're gonna find something to do with it. I have no clue where I was planning on putting it. Why did I buy this? I have no clue why I bought that. It was $14.99. Uh found this book, $19.99. It says Scandy Rustic. Um, I actually just like the outside of it and it also has like nice uh, oh. aesthetics on the inside of the book. Mama, Nina's calling you. Answer it. Okay. So, this is cute. This is actually a good third layer book for my coffee table, but I also like the cream with this wooden tone. I don't know if y'all can kind of see that. And then the rest of the stuff is like the first stuff for the kids room. Um, I got this little storage basket thing for Kenzie's room. It matches the color scheme. Kenzie always thinks she's right, y'all. So this says always right. I thought this would be cute to go on her dresser. I got some dry erase markers for my. And then y'all know Maddie had wanted her room to be um uh what is it? What is it? Like galaxy thing and we went away from that but i'm so annoyed because right now they have all their galaxy theme stuff up so i was like even though her room ain't galaxy theme anymore i still want That's her to have so this cute. because it's just really cute 
And I'm annoyed that we aren't doing that anymore. So I'm talking to my friends on YouTube. <laughs> Girl, put that camera down. I'm trying to talk to you about something. <laughs> Please hold. Say hey, friends. <laughs> y'all, it's 4 o'clock on a Sunday, and I have not edited this video. And I'm not showing y'all my face, because... Girl, the breakout is bad, baby. Huh. Football Sandy. All right, y'all, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing with these pillows in here. I love the combination of the pillows. However, can y'all see that? Somebody look at that. I don't think y'all can see it. Hold on. Get down, little girl. You're not gonna get back on my couch either. Okay, I went right back to it. So this looks so good together. And I think it looks really good with the cognac chairs, but these are way too big for this couch. So I could just do one pillow, this one pillow, and just take this one back, even though I really love this pillow. I could use this upstairs. I don't know. So we're planning on getting a bigger couch. I think we're gonna get a sectional in here. Girl, I don't know. I took off the side pillows. This couch actually comes with two big pillows just like this, but I took them off. But, do you think this is too much? Get from under my cabinet. Or you, you think it's good? Yeah. All right, y'all, so my husband said to do it like this. Look at, look at this. What do y'all think? So anyways, um, if I did that, so y'all see this basket, I have these two pillows. I was going to remove these blankets out of here to and put these two pillows inside of this basket. And then there's this Kenzie Bean has your AirPods. And then there's this other basket that has like um, brown cream and something else in it. I can get that and it's smaller and I can put that over there and put the blankets inside of it. And I'm also wondering if I should just get the other pillow just like it and put it right there. So two of the same pillows. Y'all let me know. I really like the combination together, but I don't know how I feel about two different pillows on here. Oh shoot, almost fell. Y'all see what I'm saying? And I also think these pillars are too big. So maybe I just will get rid of this one. And then just have this one pillow right here. This one. And this one. <clears throat> I kind of like that better. The three different sizes. I don't know. But I really do like this pillow. Anyways. I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. <laughs> um, and on the next video, on Wednesday's video, we can do the front porch because I don't have time to do all of that as part of this video, edit it, and then get it up on Sunday because I really want this video to go live today. So, Bean, close out the video. Say bye-bye. That's it, see y'all on Wednesday.